Okay, just so we're clear, I'm not using all of these planners in 2023, but I'm combining a bunch of stuff. So if you're new here, my name's Mary Ellen. I'm a decorative planner and a functional planner, and I teach you guys how to use planners in different ways. This video is really exciting for me, but I will tell you, it's also extremely overwhelming. So you'll probably see a lot of these types of videos on YouTube. Listen, I love to watch them and I get very excited. I get pumped up for the new year. There's nothing like a fresh start, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you when I tell you that even though this is one of the most fun videos to film of the year, it's also extremely overwhelming. So if you are overwhelmed by choosing planners for 2023, you're not alone. The reason I am one of the last people to put out the lineup and setup videos every year is because it's exciting but confusing for me because the options are endless. So I procrastinate. When I finally do it and when I finally start thinking about it and figuring it out, I get really pumped for the new year. So let's go over what I'm using in 2023. First, I'm gonna tell you it's all happy planners. I love the happy planner. As you probably know, if you've watched me for a while, I love the disc bound system. It is perfect for my needs and I don't see me switching anytime soon. Look at all the discs, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go over these one at a time. The first planner I'm gonna show you is my daily planner. So I've been using a daily planner for quite a while now. I don't use it every day if I'm being honest. Sometimes I just use it as a quick brain dump list, but the paper is there for me to use. I would like to start doing it at night, the night before, so that when I sit down to, especially to work the next day, it's all there laid out for me and I know what I'm doing and I'm not flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> so let me show you this one. This is a four month daily happy planner. I believe this came out in the fall and it's the Jewel Tone Jungle theme. There are some decorations on these pages and also the layout is not exactly what I want. I'm considering doing a little Franken planning, which is combining planners together. Let me show you what I'm thinking of using. So I have a whole bunch of filler paper that the Happy Planner's given me over the years and I keep them on discs and I was looking through them and I saw these pages. I really wanna get into batching tasks for work in the new year. I've tried it before, but I wanna be more consistent with that. And I feel like this is a really good layout because I have an hourly schedule and I have top priorities and then a task list here, which really makes sense. It's very functional. It feels more functional than this for me because I don't always use these down here. And I'm not someone who decorates my daily all the time. I have made some videos on that. I will decorate it a little bit here and there, but I don't do it on the regular because let's be honest, I have a lot of decorating to do in my other planners and this is so functional for me. So this makes a lot of sense. I don't love that it's not double-sided, but I could see using this for just scratching down, you know, just having that scratch paper when I need it. So I don't quite know yet what I'm gonna do, but I am using Daily Planner for sure, and it's gonna be the classic size. Okay, next up, let's talk about my big planner. I have written notes on all of these so I don't forget. I use a big vertical planner for my catch-all, and that is something that has not changed since I started planning, and I don't plan to change it anytime soon. I am going to do that for the new year, and I'm sure that doesn't surprise you if you know me. But the problem I always seem to have is there's certain planners where I really love the cover and the, the dividers and everything, but they're not the right layout for me. And that's what this one is, the dashboard layout. This is the Paula and Waffle planner that came out in the fall. It is so, so pretty. Um, because it's seasonal and cute, like we have these really cute dividers and I really like them. Now I always say I'm someone who doesn't really care, you know, about the dividers because I don't really look at it. I don't look at it, but I still care a little bit. Let's be honest. I care a little bit because I just want it to be cute, you know? <laughs> In this planner, there are definitely some colors on the currently pages, but I think what I'm gonna do is still use those anyway because what it's going to do for me is challenge me to match them every month to like what I how I decorate my currently page, and I think that's a really cool idea. It'll be a cute little challenge for me, like, oh, I need to do a mint green in May or this like blue gray in June. I think it's gonna be a fun little challenge. The monthly pages look like this. We have these polka dots on the top, which I don't really mind. I do like a little color in my planner on the pages that aren't 
the weekly pages. This is what the weekly pages in this planner look like. They're dashboard layout. I do not use that for my, um, my catch-all planner. So it doesn't make sense for me to keep these pages in. So what I'm going to do is take the pages for the weeklies out of this one, which is a really pretty planner, don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. It's just not as much my style as whimsical and doodly, as you know, if you know me, even though it's super pretty. Here's what we have for the vertical pages in this big happy planner. It is totally neutral. It is totally my vibe. I love this because I can decorate it however I want. So I'm gonna combine it with these fun dividers, the fun monthlies, the fun currentlies, and the fun cover, and we're gonna have a fun planner with neutral pages. So that's my goal. I probably will change up these discs because these aren't gonna match all the spreads. I think it's a really pretty color, but I just don't think it's you know good for my purposes. So I'll probably put like clear discs on here because we have not the ones that are sparkly, I don't like them that much, but these ones, wait. The ones that are perfectly clear, we've gotten those recently and I just think they're so cool. So I'm thinking about putting clear ones on my big planner because it's gonna match every single spread. There's nothing that doesn't match clear, right? So I think that makes sense. If you don't know what a catch-all planner is, it's where I put like all of my personal stuff, all of my regular to-dos, my family, my home, you know, all that kind of stuff. It all goes into like one big planner. I use the big because I love to decorate. I'm not that busy of a person anymore, but I love having the space to make really cool decorative spreads and fill them up and put a whole lot of stickers on the page or paper. It's a creative outlet. So I think I'm gonna keep using the big for a very long time, as long as they keep making it probably. Next, let's talk about my work planner. So I went back and forth about this for so, so long. I sat for hours yesterday. I was watching a whole bunch of planner lineup videos, planner setup videos. I was watching my old planner setup videos, trying to figure out what works for me because my work planner has not been working for me this year. And that's why you haven't seen it a lot because I'm not really using it a lot. I'll be completely honest and I need to get back into using it because what I've been doing is using, you know, first I was using daily sheets, then I kind of slowed down on that. I'm still using them, but not enough, you know, not consistently. And so I'm doing like a lot of sort of lists on pages, but I need to keep it all together. This is my job and content creation is confusing for me. It's a job with a whole bunch of multiple streams of income, you know, and different tasks. It's very complicated. I know it doesn't seem it, but there's so many, I wear a lot of different hats. There's so many different things coming in different directions and social media in itself is very overwhelming. So I need this, I need to start using it again. So here's what I'm gonna do. And this is one of the reasons there was a lot of planners when you first saw the video. First off, I'm using this cover. This is from Live Love Posh. I've been wanting to use this for a while and I just haven't gotten around to it. It's like quilted kind of, it's squishy. I'll try to find it for you if she still has it. It's really cute and it just feels work-like to me. Usually in my work planner, I like to use, you know, some sort of snapping cover just because it feels workish. I don't know. So I'm excited to use this cover. I've never used it before. And what I'm gonna do is take this dashboard layout undated happy planner. They've switched it up this year and put a really long task list on this side. I adore that. Before it was separated out, which is great. And there's still separate parts here that I can use three other sections here, but I like having a long running to-do list. I think that works for me in my head. I haven't used the dashboard layout this year for work and I, missed it. I considered using even a checklist layout for work or like a student layout, something like that. This year I had decided to use the teacher layout. And while it really made sense in my mind, I couldn't get myself to use it. So I started wondering, why am I not using my planner? Is it because of the layout? Is it because I was using a big planner and it was just large? Is it because my life, you know, so I, I wasn't sure. So what I started doing in my head last night when I was using so much brain power to figure this out was I started going back in time and thinking, okay, I used to use my work planner consistently. Now it could be because let's be honest, if you don't know me, um, I've had a hard year. My son passed away last year. And so everything was turned upside down. I moved twice, like 
everything was turned upside down this past year. And so that could really be why. But I kind of want to go back to where I was in 2021 where I was using my work planner consistently, and that was the dashboard layout combined with the monthly. This is an older monthly. This is from 2022. I don't have a new monthly layout, Happy Planner, and I didn't want to buy one because the amount of planners I have is ridiculous, and I just thought it was so wasteful to buy yet another planner. So what I'm going to do is take this monthly page, which I used to do. I used to combine the monthly and the dashboard together into one planner and it worked for me. Why did I switch it up you ask? I do not know. I think when it stopped working for me was probably around the time my son died and I didn't even think okay well maybe it was that. Maybe that's why I wasn't using my planner. Maybe it wasn't the way I set it up at all. So sometimes in our lives if things happen and we're struggling to use our planners or we're struggling to use them functionally. It's not always the planner and how you have it set up. Sometimes it really is what's going on mentally in your life. And for me, I think that's what it was. I thought I need to switch it up. I'm using a teacher planner. I'm doing this, doing that. The teacher layout was not working for me, whether it was my grief or the layout or whatever, I just couldn't consistently use it. And the last time I remember using a planner consistently was when I had this combination. So I'm gonna try it again. It's always trial and error when you're setting up planners. It's trial and error for the rest of your life, most likely. You know, um, you can't just sit down and say, I'm gonna use this planner as it is, it's perfect for me. I mean, maybe you can, I can't. As you change and grow, and as your needs change over the years, you're gonna need to tweak it every so often. When you're trying to decide on planners for the new year, which you probably already have since this video is kind of late, just sort of think about, okay, what can I tweak to make this more functional for me? What is not working this year? Like what was frustrating for me? in my planner or, or what was making me not use it every so often or all the time. Try to think of what worked, what didn't work, what was going on in your life because maybe it wasn't your planner at all and just kind of tweak it from there. And that's what I'm doing here. So going back to basics, back to the way it was. Oh my gosh, I'm talking too much. I think you get my point. This is a dated planner. So we have 2022 there, but really the only thing about this planner that's dated I noticed was this. So I can easily, easily switch this up to be an undated planner and make it work for me. This was like a landing page for the month for me. So I would use it for my income, my expenses. I'd use it for the sponsors that I had that month. I would track um, you know, some Patreon stuff on here and video ideas, things like that. And I really need this page. So I'm excited to use it again. These pages I did use as well. And what I use them for is tracking the things that I use in a video. So if I film a plan with me video, I would write the name of the video up here and then I would write the sticker books I used or the products that I needed to link in the description box. And that was working really well for me because it was a place where I knew where it was because I typically will get scratch paper or, you know, I'm a little bit scatterbrained. So I would use, you know, sometimes <laughs> I was telling my patrons this the other night, we had this conversation about this and I, I told them, listen, I'll be honest, sometimes I grab mail and I'll flip over the envelope and write it on there. and. Listen, that's not ideal. As we know, we need it in one place. I will say I am creative. I know how to use a planner, but I'm not always organized. And I'll, I've always been honest about that. I'm not the most organized or the most productive person in the entire world. I don't think my planner is going to make me be that way. It will help, but I will never be the most organized person in the entire world. That would never happen. <laughs> so ADHD, but this will help me again because like I said, when I was using these before, it was perfect for that, so that's good. And then we have some blank sheets. So I'm gonna put these in here as well. And then really, I mean, that's it. Combine it with these pages. I'm really excited about this task list. This will be my YouTube videos for the week. This will be like Instagram, TikTok, like Patreon, the things I wanna post for the day. So I wanna get back to really keeping track because I've been slacking a little bit, especially with Instagram. 
and I really want to get back to, to business with that. So I have some big goals for planning with Bumble for the new year, and I really think this is going to be good for that. And I'm probably only going to keep maybe three or four months in here at a time because it will get really thick. And in the back, I'm going to have a section sectioned off that will be, and I always have this in my work planner, that will be mainly Patreon stuff and video ideas, stuff like that. So a couple little sections in the back. So that is my work planner. I'm also going to be using these, and I'll talk about that in my setup video, but I'm really excited about using this for the new year. And I always have like this feeling of just, I don't know, there's something about planning that always makes me feel better. And I don't know if I've ever talked about that. Whenever I'm feeling like overwhelmed or depressed or anything like that, if I start planning and figuring things out, like this is how I'm going to do it, I always feel better. So that's what this is for me. I feel like I'm going to be so much more productive and organized in my work life and maybe less overwhelmed. That's the goal. And in addition to like the daily time blocking and stuff, I think I'm, re I'm really excited about this. Actually, I'm really excited. Let's talk about my creative journal. That's not going anywhere, you guys. I'm still going to use it. You probably knew I was going to use this planner because it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. This is an undated planner from the winter release. I'll try to link as many of these products as I can find for you, by the way. I always appreciate using my affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me. So thank you for that. This is undated and it's a checklist layout. I considered using this, but not for my journal. So what I'm going to do is take the dividers from here because they're really cute. I mean, pets, right? I'm going to use these discs because they're gorgeous and I'm going to try to match spreads to it. But if it doesn't, I don't care because they're so pretty. I love this color. It's one of my favorite colors. So I'm going to use these discs and this cover and everything, but I'm going to combine it with some other things. So I'm still going to use a vertical happy planner. I'm going to be taking pages from another vertical planner because I have quite a bit of them that the happy planner sent to me in the fall and winter release. So I'll be putting vertical pages in here and this year I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be combining other pages in here throughout the year. I'm going to start with the vertical, but I'm not going to set up the whole planner. What I might do is set up one month at a time. The reason is I would like to challenge myself to try different things in my journal this year. I love the vertical. It's so easy and fun to plan. And let me just show you my planner for a second. I mean, my journal, like this is so cute. You know, I love using the vertical. It's really easy to use. It's fun to use all of that, but I want to try to switch it up. And the reason I thought of that is I recently did a horizontal, wait, let me show you that one. So I recently did a horizontal layout in my journal and it was really fun to do something different. So what I thought I would do this year is every month switch it up. So I might do a vertical page. I might do a horizontal. I might do a dashboard. I might do a blank page even, you know, some junk journaling. And I'm gonna be combining some pages from guided journals in here as well because I just got a bunch of those from the Happy Planner and they're so cute. I'm probably gonna be using pages from this journal with all the doodles and everything every once in a while or the journal that came in that newbie happy box. That's the goals layout, which is this one. You know, and um, or the self care one. So there's lots of options for me as far as journaling with the guided journals. I've never used a guided journal, but I thought it would be fun to try to put some of the pages in this planner this year. But also, they get a lot of requests from you guys asking to see me decorate different layouts or see how I would use them, especially in a journal. So I thought it would be kind of fun to show you different things this year rather than just the vertical layouts. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm ex really excited about that idea because that's not something I usually do. And yeah, so it's going to be hard to actually set up my entire planner. So like I said, I might be doing one month at a time, but we'll see. But yes, these cuties are going to be in my lineup. Okay, so the last planner, and I know there's a lot of planners, you guys, but I actually really excited about. So the last planner is a planner <laughs> that I tried to start last year. And if you've been watching me for a while, you might have seen my video last year that said I'm ditching one of my planners. And that was the wellness planner. 
because I found it too overwhelming to keep up with. But this year I'm in a different place. I'm still going through a rough patch, but I feel like I'm ready to make that step to try it again. Now, what I will tell you is I am not going to promise you anything or promise me anything. I'm trying not to put pressure on myself these days, and I've been really good at it. For me, that's such a big step, so I'm not putting pressure on myself about using all these planners all the time. But I will say I'm excited about this one and trying it again, and that is my wellness planner. All right, I'm not going to be using this stress management layout, but I really like this planner, and this came in the fall release as well. It says choose where your energy goes. It just feels so good. I love the colors. I love the dividers. They're so cute. I may even use some of the pages in here, but I don't know yet. Like, look at this. It's okay to do what's best for you. You deserve peace. Like, this just feels very good. It feels good for my mental health. It feels good, you know, for a wellness planner. I really tried to nail down, like, what layout I'm going to be using for this planner before this video, but I'm still a little bit confused on it. I have a lot of ideas, but... It's all swimming around in my head right now. I wanted to film this video to get to get it out to you before the setup videos. Um, probably gonna have to break out setup videos into two or three videos because they're gonna be long. This is one that I have to give more thought to before I tell you guys exactly what I'm gonna do. But if you saw my recent habit video where I have like a habits checklist, which I'll do an update for you when I do the setup video probably. But in that, video i'm using teacher checklists for habits and i'm still going to be using those but i have to buy some classic ones that are going to go in this planner i want my habit list to go in this planner because it just makes sense in my mind rather than keeping it in my big planner so this is going to be where my habit trackers live i'm going to be starting some symptom tracking which i'm still kind of confused as to what i'm going to do for that i might be using checklists for that as well i don't know and I'm going to be doing some other things like mental health check-ins and like maybe some fitness or nutrition, things like that. I might include like five wins this week or gratitude or mood tracking. I don't really know yet. It's, it's very overwhelming for me. So it's going to take a while to think about this. My setup videos are going to be coming probably, to be honest, they probably aren't going to come until after Christmas. So that week will probably be when I put out my setup videos. If I can do them before, I will, but I don't know that I'm gonna have the time. When you watch that setup video, you'll see exactly what I'm putting in here. I've considered so many different layouts for this and I just don't know. I've thought about the color block layout or the teacher layout or the vertical or even this layer. Like there's so many ideas I have. So I don't quite know yet how I'm gonna be setting this up, but I will be using this cover and the dividers in here because I think it just feels good for me. I just really like this. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. So I know that's a lot of planners, you guys. I know it's a lot. So how many is that? My big, my work, my wellness, my journal, and my daily. Is that it? Yeah. So that's five planners and it's a lot. I know a lot of people combine their planners into one planner that used to be called like a transformer planner. I don't know. I think people just call them Franken planners now. I love that idea. I really do. I love the idea of having one planner where I could just flip to the page and find what I need. Like, here's my catch-all page. Oh, and then I'll flip to my wellness page and my work page. But for me, I don't think that would work because that would mean that probably every month I would need to take those pages out, put them into another planner, set it up again for that month. I don't want to do that every month. I am lazy when it comes to my planners, if I'm being honest, because I have a lot of stuff to do for my job with planners as it is. And I don't want to set up a planner every month. So I know you see a lot of videos online of people doing that. That's totally cool. I just don't want to do it every single month. And knowing me, I'll probably put it off and then I won't use my planner. So I'm just trying to head off any problems, even though I love that idea. So I'm going to have a lot of planners and I just have to remember every day to sit down in my planners in the morning or maybe in the evening or maybe both for like five minutes, except for my big, because I do fancy writing in it. That takes a little longer, but, oh, and my journal. Oh, geez, okay. Well, I have time set aside in the mornings in my habit tracker for planners and journals. So I think I can do this. I think I can, but again, don't hold me to it. Uh, I'm a human being and I'm not perfect, just like all of you. And sometimes it's hard to be consistent 
with planning, but I just get very excited about it. It's like a fresh start. I feel like I'm gonna be able to do it all. And that's the way I feel every January. I can do it all, you know, I can really track everything and make it my own and this and that, and I'll be so productive. And you know, that might be the case, but it might not be the case. And if it's not, I'm gonna be gentle with myself and realize that it's life and we can't be everything we want to be all the time. But I'm excited to try. So I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments what planners you're using. How many planners are you using for 2023? I'd like to know. And is there anything that I said that resonated with you? Let me know that as well. So I'm going to stop talking to you now because I feel like I've been talking to you for hours. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And like I said, there's going to be lots of setup videos coming up and all sorts of New Year's stuff, like my one little word, which I'm not going to tell you yet. I think I know what it is, but that's coming up as well too. So some fun videos coming up. And if you're not subscribed, do it so you don't miss anything. All right. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.